Well, good morning, church uh, friends. Um, today's Winter Warmer is an invitation and an encouragement to join us for our day of prayer on Friday. Uh, this coming Friday, Friday the 13th of November 2020, the Evangelical Alliance have called a National Day of Prayer. A number of folks within our church have been asking for a day of prayer, uh, which has been really encouraging to hear. And so we felt it would be uh, best to join with as many other churches and Christians to pray together on uh, this Friday, November the 13th. Now, one of the passages I've been sharing over the last few months is Philippians 1, looking at how really Paul could have had prison problems. You know, he was in prison and he could have gone, oh, woe is me, I'm in prison, I can't do anything. But he didn't have prison problems, he had prison potential. He looked at the prison and said, actually, I can preach the gospel here and other people have been encouraged to preach the gospel. And it's the same, isn't it, with the pandemic? We don't want to be a, a pandemic problem church. Look at what we can't do. Rather, we want to be a pandemic potential church. Look at what we can do. And one of the things we can do is pray. Um, as a church, really, our communities and our country need to know that we are praying for our friends, praying for our NHS, praying for our government, praying for our schools, praying for our communities. And so we're going to join together in prayer. And it is wonderful, isn't it? Another favourite passage of mine is Psalm 133, how good and pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in unity. And so it is wonderful. On Friday, the FIEC and so many other organisations are jumping in on this National Day of Prayer. So what are we going to do? Well, firstly, uh, the EA have produced uh, guidelines to pray throughout the day. So there is a prayer for breakfast time, which is to pray for those in the caring and emergency services and those in hospital. Prayer for mid-morning to think of the bereaved and the anxious and the fearful. A prayer for midday where we're encouraged to stop and to pray the Lord's Prayer together. A prayer for lunchtime where we're encouraged to go out and to walk around and pray, particularly thinking of those shielding and in isolation. There's a prayer for early afternoon where we would pray for the church in the UK, that we would proclaim the gospel clearly as we should. There's a mid-afternoon prayer. For those who are poor, unemployed and homeless, people struggling with addictions and those with mental health issues. There's prayers for the late afternoon, praying for the vulnerable, the children, those with disabilities and the lonely. And there's prayers for the evening as well, praying for those in positions of power, for those in government. And then there is a nighttime prayer as well. So there are prayers throughout the day and uh, that is all listed below. And we would encourage you as individuals or uh, with someone else over the phone or walking outside to pray through those things um, together. The EA have also given us ideas in how to do it. So, for example, in families, we could encourage our children to draw pictures of schools and teachers or governments or local hospitals and NHL staff. And as they draw those pictures to pray through those pictures or perhaps to walk around local streets and local areas so that we can visualise the people that we are praying for and as well in the evening for us all in a safe way to put a candle in the window and to light a candle to show that we are offering light to the world to stop and to pray as we light the candle um, and to do that together. So that's all down in the description. We would encourage you to follow all of that. And as a church, we're going to join together for a Zoom prayer meeting. Even if you're not on Zoom, you can phone in to that prayer meeting. So we would encourage you. Um, this week I was in an elders meeting and I didn't have enough internet um, to get my video to work. So I just was there verbally. And that's OK. It can still work. So it doesn't matter if we can't see your face. As long as we can hear you, um, then brilliant. Um, we can we can pray with you. And so that will be 7.30 on Friday evening on Zoom, either through your video or you can phone in and we will get together um, to pray. So please join me in praying. It is good and pleasant to join together. Um, and also remember, we don't want to be pandemic problems. We want to be pandemic potential. And why not pandemic potential prayers? So Friday the 13th, let's do it.